I need to make a vlog and get my voice out there. And you know what? That's what we're doing. So. Hey, hey guys. guys! We, we made, made a channel! channel. Yay! Yeah. So. So I guess we should start by introducing ourselves. So I'm Ton, and this is. I'm Jelly, and we're architectural students from Del Sol College, College of Saint Benoit. Interesting. Woo. And this is our little vlog we're gonna do about a solar evaporating fridge. Now, what is the solar evaporating fridge, Jelly? A solar evaporating fridge is a fridge, mm -hmm. technically, uh -huh. and it uses the energy of the sun instead of electricity. So, you should go use electricity. What a steal! Right? What a what steal, a steal. man! What a steal! bill ko mga 2k a month? Wow! None! None of that None anymore! Of that Actually, anymore. still aircon, but you know, besides that, not as much cost for a solar evaporating fridge because there's no current. And a plus, you guys can do it at home. At yeah. home. DIY. Do it yourself. Diba? Or do it with friends. This is really How about a little, a quick little history lesson about what the solar evaporating fridge is. So it all started in 1995 with a man named, and I know I'm saying the name a bit wrong, really sorry for that, but it's uh, Mohammed ba, ba Abba. Abba. And what did he do? So he made something we like to call a zero pot or pot in pot refrigeration. So this is the picture for that. Bing. Okay, it's that's gonna it. show up, hand. It's gonna show up here. Yeah, okay, so pot, pot <laughs> refrigerator. Okay, so what does that do? So, basically in Nigeria at the time, around 90% of the country, actually northern Nigeria, didn't have access to electricity. So, for things like medicine, for things like food, there wouldn't be any refrigerating units nearby. You know, imagine that for a country that's struggling with and it's all types hot. of poverty. And it's so hot, so Your this man spoiled, created a way a really affordable and cheap way to create refrigerators out of basically two terracotta pots, soil, and a cloth cover. Think of it. How can you make a fridge with two terracotta pots, soil, water, and a cloth? Crazy, right? How is that a refrigerator, but right? That's the world we live in! Honestly, though, it is... It's absolutely crazy to think that these things can be invented. So, how does it work? I'm sure that's all. That's what you all want to know right there at home, wherever you're watching. So, a Zierpot, which is kind of like popular right now. If you search Zierpot in YouTube, you're gonna search a, a lot of people making it. We're making it a bit different, so yeah, we're unique. We're gonna make it updated. Like we're cool. Like. How does it work? So I'm gonna put the diagram here in Todd's face. And there are two pots. One is bigger than the other. So put the uh, the put one inside the other pot, and then you put the soil in the gap. Where do you put the soil? I'm the talking diagram. Where do you put the soil? <laughs> <laughs> you put it in between the small pot and the bigger pot. Mm -hmm. So you just put it at the side, and then you put your food inside the smaller pot. Do you see what I mean? Like pot, pot, soil, food. Like vegetables such as tomatoes, carrots, uh, carrots, uh, onions, onions, cabbage, anything like that's food. Uh huh. So you put it inside the smaller pot and then you cover it with a cloth and you put water on the soil. soil. So. What does that do, Jeline? So why do we need to put water in the soil? It's kind of like how we sweat. Like how we cool ourselves. So we sweat, right? So that's how the zero pot works. So you put water and then when the water evaporates, it's kind of cooling. It's like a cooling system. Mm -hmm. The heat transfers from the first pot to the second pot. <laughs> Diagram! That's, this is the wall of the first pot and this is the wall of the second pot, like the bigger pot mm -hmm. and the water, like this is the soil and in the water, the heat transfers so... Why does it transfer? Evaporation 
to what is evaporation. Sometimes a liquid can be sitting in one place, maybe a puddle, and it's more fuse will become a gas. That's the process called evaporation. So it can happen when liquids are cold or when they're warm. It happens more with warmer liquids. You probably remember that when matter is of a higher temperature, the molecules have a higher energy. When the energy is physical energy, which is a certain level, they can have a phase change. <laughs> evaporation is all about the energy in individual molecules, not about the average energy of your system. And average energy can be low and the evaporation still continues. You might be wondering how You guys get that? So basically Evaporation is when water, when it sits for too long, it becomes gas. Mm. And that gas is sort of like the heat transfers. So, Jelly, how does the pot in pot refrigerator work exactly? So, this is pot. It's not my butas. Yun, para oh. may ventilation. Ventilation. <laughs> ventilation. And then the other pot. Enclosed lang siya. So, yung enclosed na pot, yun yung my fruits, my vegetables, yung food goodness, yung sinastore nyo. And then, nasa loob siya nung pot ng mga butas. Tapos talagyan mo ng sand in between that. Yung sand or pwede rin soil, diba? Sand, soil, uh, anything that's porous dapat. Porous Whoa. na material. Porous, Big yes! Big words! <laughs> Alam niyo ba kung anong meaning ng porous? Good job. Continue. So, dapat porous yung material na yun para um, absorb yung water na ilalagay nyo. So, yung water, yun yung maging medium to cool your fridge. Your fridge. So, it works by yung water, it turns to lick, to gas. So, it's liquid to gas. So, it's that's evaporation. And then, it's not just evaporation. There's also heat transfer. So, it's like Diagram. <laughs> this is the inner wall, the inner pot, and this is the outer pot. Outer pot. This is the um, soil. soil. So that's drenched with water. Tapos yung heat no inner wall, like the transfer siya towards towards the outer pot. Yeah. Tapos since may holes siya, then magalalabas yung inet. So instead of it na umiinit siya, mas Umalami. tumalamig kasi nga nag umaalas yung init sa loob. Mm -hmm. And in case you didn't get that, here's a picture. <laughs> you know what guys? If you don't believe us, we, we made our research. So we'll just link it down below. We'll just send you, uh, we'll just show you guys what we searched. Yeah, because search. this kind of thing, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Like, unbelievable. 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 I'm gonna lost for words because of how unbelievable it is. But anyway, now we know, we just want to tell you guys straight up that this is a project for one of our classes, which is Arc Test 1. But that is not just what this is about. By the way, shout out to Sir Chito. Woo! Anyways, why are we doing this and why is it important? It's important because we're not always going to have electricity. Might as well do something about it. Might as well use something that's resourceful and just a DIY as simple as some as simple as that. So You know, Jelly, I think when people talk about sustainable energy, it's sort of seen as this like big thing. It requires a lot of science and it's really complicated. But what we're trying to show here in our channel and in this project is that these things are incredibly useful and they're sometimes just really easy and we want to show you guys how to do it because it's super useful like even if you're not super into sustainable energy you know even if you don't want to save the world hopefully you want to save the world oh, yes. but save the world. like just Think a about cooler it. or a ref that you don't have to plug into yeah. an energy source that's something that all of us can use no matter where you're from and it can also help people who are in need so yeah over the next Four or five weeks, we'll be shooting videos on telling you how the, how this thing works, yeah. and hopefully we won't fail. <laughs> you know, we never know what the outcome will be. Yeah, I mean, we have an inkling of what the outcome will be, but we hope you know we'll su we're successful for that. Yeah, and also imagine, guys, it's important because inside we're brown, mag mag brown out. Yeah. Tapos, Paano na yung pagkain natin? Paano yeah, na yung yeah, medicine? Diba? 
Kaya expire siya. Mag- eh, Tapos. Expire siya. Expi- Mag-expire siya. So parang, pan na yan. Yeah. So you can do this. And with barely any cost, yeah. honestly. Just, you just use two pots, some soil. But, okay, that brings us to our next point. So, we're nearing an end to this vlog. But I want to tell you about the newest version of this pot in pot refrigeration. So, in, back in 2009, this girl from the UK named Emily Cummins created her version of here's a solar diagram. evaporating fridge. So, here's the diagram. And it's basically a more portable and a more modern version of the pot and pot refrigerator. Because if it's the pot and pot, it can't It's really... heavy, man. Yeah, it's heavy. You can't... That's heavy. You can't bring... I mean, it's big, but you can't bring it anywhere. It's gonna be... It's gonna be hard for you. you so, can't... what's the big difference? What's the difference between this version and this new version? Ding. All right, so... Basically, we have to talk about the materials. So terracotta pots, yes, they're very heavy and they're not as portable. Sure, you don't have to connect them everywhere, but it's not something you just carry around. So what Emily did was she basically made a way more portable and a way lighter version of this. So the inner pot, or the inner cylinder in this case, because it's actually used more for medicine, is um, it's made out of solid metal. Whereas the outer pot can be made from things like wood or plastic or anything that's solid that doesn't really melt. And then there's some holes yep. just to let out the air as previously for mentioned. ventilation. For ventilation. And her version has a proper cover but that isn't necessarily needed but it is better to keep the cool air in. So we're gonna try to follow her more modern version making our own take with it, with what we can find around us, you know, in the supermarket, what we have at home. Mm -hmm. And you still put soil in the middle, same process, soil, sand, can or any so porous, porous material. material. You guys know what porous means, right? Think. SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and yeah, that's basically all the difference that we need to take note of. So they both won uh, huge awards for this, and we're not looking for any awards. Yeah. You know what the best reward would be? Helping the environment, guys! And your support. We would love your support, so leave a like, leave a comment, hit that bell button to get informed on every time we'll be posting a new video. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, because we'll be having another video coming up soon. Mm -hmm. And honestly, what we really want to do is we just want you guys to learn a really cool way of making a fridge. Hope you guys learn from us and yes. do it on your own as well at home. Yeah. Or, you know, in a condo. In a condo where we are, or you know. So that concludes vlog number one. We'll see you next week. Again, I'm Ton. I'm and, Zali. And we'll see you next time. Yeah.